So, hello everyone. Um, my name is André Rocha uh, and I'm here to talk about Fab Schools. Uh, uh, very uh, quickly, Fab Schools is about Fab Labs and schools. So Fab Labs are fabrication laboratories uh, that can exist inside schools and that are aimed at democratizing uh, uh, and uh, opening the access to uh, uh, fabrication technology to like 3D printing, CNC machining, etc. So, as I said, my name is André Rocha. I'm a professor, researcher and designer. I'm an adjunct professor at the Higher School of Education in the Polytechnic of Lisbon in Portugal. I coordinate the local Fab Lab and I'm also the tech and open design lead at the Creative Commons Portugal chapter. Uh, fab Schools. So, Fab Schools uh, for us is where open design uh, meets open educational resources. But we, the Fab Schools has a project is interested in, get, in understanding how this uh, uh, path can be uh, uh, carved. So how can we shift from an open design aimed at the edu at education and make it an ep open educational resources in, in its full aspect. For that, uh, um, this will be our keywords. Uh, how can we engage the creative community on maker education or at least more people from the creative uh, community on maker education. Maker, maker education is also a, com, a, a concept, also uh, uh, very linked to the Fab Labs and, and maker spaces movement. So open design again and open education in one side. So um, we are also linked to this concept of distributed design, and we think we we believe that this might be uh, 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 this might empower this process of migrating this idea of open design to open education. Um, oh, distributed design gives also name to um, an European grant and uh, an European platform called the Distributed Design Market Platform. We recently edited this book that has a chapter, that has a small chapter on, on Fab Schools, and I invite you to read because it's it's free and, and CC licensed. Um, also, uh, it's a, a platform that collects and promotes uh, creatives. Uh, we are part of that here in Lisbon. We are part of that of that platform, and we are uh, mostly focused on uh, promoting creatives that work in the educational field. That's why we 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 put together this Fab Schools project. So, what are the ingredients of Fab Schools? First of all, creativity. Um, this, for example, is based on a project we'll hear, I, I, I believe, in, uh, in the next. Lightning, lightning talks from Fernando de Guano, and basically my students remixed this project and they made uh, uh, other toys and other educational uh, um, kits out of his own open source and open design kit. Um, platforms, there are a lot of platforms where you can find uh, projects. Um, and sometimes you find projects that you know that are really aimed at, at an educate that has a, that have an educational purpose. For example, in Scopes DF, a, a platform from the Fab uh, put together by the Fab Foundation, you can find lessons, uh, maker education lessons. So uh, lessons taken out of the development and, and 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 replication of artifacts or techniques. Also, you can find them that dispersed around platforms like Instructables or make community the make community platform and then you can also you have other platforms much more uh, uh, focused on open design but where you can also find very good documentation uh, uh, for uh, these kind of products um, licenses of course licenses are another important ingredient there's not much to say about this uh, and motivation of course you you, you find a lot of people in the creative community and in the open design community and the distributed design community motivated to uh, work on the educational field. Uh, but how do we link this? How do we turn this, the, the, their motivation into, 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 into uh, uh, OERs and into something that is used and, and, and applicable in the, in the field? Uh, so the Fab Schools process, what uh, have we done? We started by designing a deck of cards aimed at uh, assessing or uh, triggering creativity uh, 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 around these kind of projects. Looking, they were, it's, it's a deck, it's divided into four sets, one that has to do with openness and how do you assess openness in your project, another about sustainability, another about the ecosystem, how do you put together the ecosystem around the project, and another one specific 
about education, how you are aiming at educating through that product. So we also run a lot of interviews based on this deck. Uh, and uh, and um, here's a small, uh, here's a small, the, the interviews happened online during the COVID. Uh, this is an example. I will just forward it. Uh, we have, we will, uh, So we run a, a couple of workshops about it. We also put together an open call for designs where we received uh, uh, 15 applications from all over the world. Uh, and we now have this fabschools.pt online catalog that condenses the, both the interviews that and the projects that we outreach and the, the, the products that came uh, products and projects that came from the open call. Uh, we also have winners. So Otto is one of the winners, Otto DIY, a big community uh, of small robots that are put together for educational purposes and uh, power, uh, a lesson. Uh, about uh, about uh, climate change, uh, a machine that you build aimed at uh, it's all open source, uh, replicating different climates on your own uh, educational setting. So, uh, what about the next steps? Next steps are easy. We want to take the deck to the field, so we are sending out to to uh, some of you who want to try it and experiment it with your own community and to engage your the creative community near you. So, version Version one will be supported by the Creative Commons Community Activity Fund, and we will print it. There will be a physical version, and we want to partner up in schools to gather the best selected projects uh, that meet the distributed design for education criteria that we set, and we want to put them on the field and test them as products, as educational products. So, uh, thank you very much, uh, all, uh, for listening, and I'm open to questions. Thank you, Andre. This is one of my favorite projects. I really like this project. And uh, apologies for mispronouncing your last name. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open for questions. Uh, you can either type in the chat or unmute yourself and ask your question. But while people are thinking, Andre, I have a question. How do you, what concepts do you use? How do you explain open education to designers in a way that they're interested in the, the sharing aspects? Is that something that comes naturally to designers you find? Or uh, do you have to kind of tell them uh, or teach them why open education is something that, that the world's interested in? Yeah, the, 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 that's the, 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 thank you for your question. That, that's the, the, the goal of the, of the deck of cards. The idea is, yes, I will explain the cards. So the idea is to, it's, it's to divide these, uh, these, um, this concept of distributed design for education, of design, of these products becoming open educational resources through the, the, the deck of cards. The deck of cards is divided into four main, uh, sets. One about openness that explains the, the, that makes you think about the reasons why you are opening up your process. How do you open it? What platforms do you use? What type of files do you use? How do you share it? Why the why is in the house of, of sharing it? The second about sustainability. For that purpose, we address both uh, the sustainability of the product, pro pro project, and products, and what you do. Uh, an actual assessment of of of, of the the the, the um, uh, environmental sustainability of the project, and also uh, incentivizing uh, whoever is whoever is designing a new project to address the sustainable development goals of the UN. So we also have cards for each sustainable development goal. 
then about the, 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 the ecosystem. How do you relate with your educational community? How do you relate? You have you have cards about flows, about uh, about uh, stakeholders, and you connect all of them, and you kind of design your ecosystem uh, by by using the cards. And lastly, you have a card about uh, the, your educational goals and uh, how do you foresee this product uh, uh, becoming um, an educational uh, resource, for example, uh, for what ages are you addressing that? Are you are you teaching a skill? Are you, are, are you teaching a, what are you, about what are you teaching, etc. I'll be happy to share a digital version very soon and to send you uh, a printed version. Uh, uh, we will maybe open an application for the printed versions. So I, I hope I answered your question. 